Hello and welcome, ice level enthusiasts. <coughs> I'm Metsu Piano. I'm playing One Step from Even, and today is day two of Obligatory Ice Level Month. So this is a deck building roguelike that is um, kind of similar to Mega Man Battle Network. I'm going to take the default character Saffron with her default outfit um, because she has the fewest mechanics to explain. Um, anyway, because it's a roguelike, you visit the first area is selected for you randomly. Um, we might get the icy one, we might not. If we don't, I will just skip ahead to what we do. So, let's just jump right over there. We didn't. Alright, here we go, approaching Arctic. Yeah, for whatever reason, the icy area is just called Arctic, which means it's really gonna have kind of a bland title. But that's okay. Right now, check out this factory that turns out little ice blocks. You can't watch it die from spells. Okay. Um, we're gonna get some more frost spells. Fire shots that apply frost to three rows. The way frost works is if you hit something with frost three times, it deals 150 bonus damage. So the more frost cards we have in our deck, the better. Um, this is what our deck looks like at the moment. Let's see, we have Frost Bolt, Cryokinesis, Cold Snap, and now Frost Barrage, and Cold Medicine. All very important cold spells. Um, we are currently focused towards the Anima <laughs> Company, which specializes in both Ice and Fire and lightning, so we picked up some fire spells too. But anyway, it's easier to show this than to um, just talk about it, so let's go onward. We pick a path, we have battle, hazard, battle, it looks like there's some treasures on this path, so let's go this way. Okay, we can see a medic in distress here, let's see if we can save her. I realize that this is probably very hard to follow if you have not actually played this game yourself. I'm trying my best. Basically, I'm playing cards, bad guys are getting hurt. Uh, let's see, we got some fire cards here. Salamander, fire is shot from each flame, but leaves the flame on it. Rush fire, spread all flames vertically and refresh them. I like this one more. Um, in between um, levels, we have an opportunity to practice with our cards if we so need it. So this can give you an idea of like what our spells does. Like we can cast Ring of Fire that leaves fires on the ground. Rush Fire expands them. We can toss another fire wall out there. And we've got our ice cards. Good stuff. Um, but generally, we can just showcase all this stuff by playing normally. Okay, there's a chest here. We have to destroy it before the time limit runs out. Here we go. And these crystals are money, so let's grab them. Scales gain 20 shields when you shuffle. Very useful. We shuffle when we run out of cards, or we can shuffle manually. Frostbite, apply one frost four times away. If you are fragile, apply three frosts instead for an instant combo. But, um, we don't have anything that costs us fragile to ourselves. I'll take it anyway. Alright, onward. More enemies. We got a little ice launcher, ice scorpion, and hail master. I think these guys can inflict frost on me, too. Uh, there, let's drop some turrets. Um, slice and whip. Okay, 
okay, this nice launcher only has four health left, so we could use a few basic shots to clear it out. Ooh, thunderstorm. Oh yeah, I want that. Look at that. Ideally, I would want ice storm, but sometimes you can't really be picky. Uh, let's go for another chest. Same deal as the last one. So let's rank Poison Vial, all enemies start with 20 poison. Deals damage after 4 seconds, then gets halved. Never get involved in a land war in Asia. I'm not sure what that's worth. Oh, Hailstorm, I want this. Rain down shots to apply frost. It doesn't deal much damage, but that frost combo sure does. Um, these enemies are very terrible. Kineticizing you. Um, get some cross bites on you. Okay, you just throw like crystal mines. So you can just stand on the fire and die. Level one. Let's see, PK fire, fire shot that leaves fire. Sure, why not? Level up, we can get a med kit, pinwheel, gain haste for six seconds when you show up. Or the heart of the cards. It's free heal estate. Yeah, I'll take that. You have to believe in the heart of the cards if you want to win. Alright, boss time. This is our musician, Violet. She's used to more people than this. Okay, for her first move, she's gonna place music notes on the floor. We're gonna catch those so as to block her next attack. Um, her attacks are in tune with the music, which is quite good. Quite good violin music here. Most bosses in this game are also playable. Um, the reason I decided to play as Saffron and not Violet is because Violet only visits the Ice World once. Um, Saffron visits, visits it twice. Because there's one other character who appears in the Mystic area, and we shall see her shortly. However, we may have to skip a couple more places because the RNG is not being nice to me today. Oh, it hurts. Oh, well. Let's fall down the thunder. Whoa, those, those notes are going everywhere, and I see so many of them. Ouch! She's still pretty early in the game, so... She's one of the easier bosses right now. It was an honor to watch you dance. We have the option to kill or spare her. Um, I'm gonna spare her. And, um, we're gonna skip ahead to the next time we see the Ice World, which might be a bit. Thanks. She'll give us a heal, and may come in for assists later. And we're back! Welcome to the Arctic Round 2! Now I realized last time all the enemies are purple now because they start out poison. Once the poison wears off, they go back to their normal colors. Anyway, we got a few new more icy spells for our deck, and we are ready for more fun in the Arctic area. Are we not? Um, these mines are going to detonate and hurt me. I'm okay though. Gone. Alright. Let's see, what do we got? Create the flame four tiles away, consume. Or hit a wide path with a 33% chance to leave flames. Can't hit yourself. Can't fragile. You know, I like this. There's a risk, but you know, I think it's worth it. Let's go. Alright. 
here's what our deck looks like. We have a few more fire and ice spells added. We got the back burner, ice spikes, twin inferno, ice hockey, ice needle, pyroblast, and our new carpet mob. Alright, um, let's see. I know I want to hit the shop in the middle here, but... Um, you know what? I'll take the top path. Yeah, I know there's going to be a mid-boss, but I think I can handle it. I hope. Um, hi, there's a volcano here. It's going to randomly spit flames at us. Also, wow, those spits did not last long. We're getting further into the game, and this is the part where things start to get really chaotic. As the enemies are now higher level, have spammier attacks, and such. I think we'll do okay though. Uh, let's see, restore 5 mana. No, I don't need that much mana. Double tap. Fire two shots in quick succession. If this kills an enemy, cast this again. 25% chance to apply frost on hit. I'll take it. Onward to the next battle. Fanfare, thank you, Violet, for the assist. Um, that means I actually get to show that. I believe she buffed us with one extra max mana, one extra spell power, hit the back burner, then get the brush fire going, and now everything's on fire. Just as planned. Alright, we got the Reaper down. Battle 1. Blizzard! Slowly rain down shots to apply Frost. I mean, more Frost means more combo. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Alright, mid-boss coming up. Here we go. Okay, it's the Ice Monolith. Um, we have some time before it properly activates. Which is good. I think I can get rid of the other enemies before that. It's active. We now have it dropping ice shards everywhere and making these annoying little walls and um, yes, things just got much more awkward. Gotcha! <sighs> Alright. Mother, all fl spells give flow. Lose 0.2 mana regen. That's tempting, but I don't have any flow synergy in my deck, so I'm gonna skip it. I'll go for the Undershoot instead. Uh, let's see, gain point one mana regen, stop time for 5 seconds when you go below 200 HP. I'll take it. Alright, um, the camp is tempting, but let's stop by the shop first. Because, hey there, check out my stuff, just open the deck. Shopkeeper is kind of a cutie. Oh hey, we can buy a credit card to get more money. Thanks! <laughs> um, we can buy mana jump. Uh, neither of these cards look that great. Neither of these look these great. It's a penalty you can take for a small benefit. <laughs> Here's what I want to stock up on. Upgrade. It's... Alright. So let me showcase the upgrade system for this game. We get three different options here. Apply Fragile, 20% splash damage, gain 10 shield. Um, Fragile sounds good. We can upgrade any spell as many times as we want, but it costs one extra upgrader for each Thing upgrade on the spell. Thank you for that, Shopkeeper. Very helpful. So now we can get the shield upgrade too, because neither of the other ones look that great. Then let's upgrade our ice needle. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, double ice needles. Costs a little extra mana, but it's worth it. We have large reserves. We have six max mana. It is possible to fight the shopkeeper, I'm not going to do that because that is a very unwise decision. Ah. 
Ow. Don't push me back like that. <sighs> Starting to run a little low on health, but I think I'll be okay. Oh my gosh. It's the crown jewel midnight. Consume all remaining spells and cast them. I love this. It's just play your entire deck all at once. I have to showcase this in the upcoming boss fight. Let's go. It's Slicey, the self-proclaimed queen of the north. Are you holding that outfit? Probably. But I mean, who needs proper dress when you have magic? Alright, here's my midnight. Gotta avoid those four ice nights first. Okay, I see it up ahead in the deck list. Here we go, here we go. Alright, now let's just do everything. Um, we hit the 200 HP for the time stop thing. It's probably not good. Now, unfortunately, all the spells that we just cast at midnight are spent for the rest of this battle and... Oh no. Today's forecast, hand with a chance of pain. Thank you for the assist. You just saved my life. And this is why sparing your opponents is usually a good idea. Ah, uh, all right, we hit the time stuff again. This is a very difficult boss fight. Although honestly, I know I can beat her. Ow, not again. Oh no. Okay, we're okay. We've got an auto revive ready. Saffron just starts out with one of those, which is very, very good. Alright, she's doing her next phase. Got a. Watch out for her when she sends those ice blades out. They are very sharp and deadly. Okay, come on, come on. I know your pattern. Do I know your pattern well enough to win? I'm not sure. We're gonna find out. Uh, time stuff again. Good time to hit you, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're nearly done, but like, I'm nearly done? Oh no, one health, one health. Got you! This is fine. I'm fine. You know what? You are fine. We're gonna spare you. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna kill you. You were in so much trouble. Actually, no, we're gonna spare you, because I really need that heal. Anyway, um, that's the end of the run. Or at least the end of the video. I'm probably going to keep doing this run. Alright, I'll chill. Alright, see ya. She might come in for an assist at the forest. Um, she did Violet did. And we end here. One skip from Eat. We can see a compilation of everything we killed. So yeah, that was one step from Eden. We didn't make it all the way to Eden. But we definitely showcased the Ice World, so I'm happy. And I will see you next time with another game and another Ice Level. Bye for now!